Hello guys, it is me, Surio, and today I'm going to be doing my combo deck profile. So, this is going to be, well, not combo deck profile, this is going to be the combo, uh, Ezel thing. So, this is a really fun combo, and I highly suggest that you guys, uh, may try it out. Now, there's a few combos to this deck, and as you can see, I'm, like, readjusting the G-Cell just to make it easier to see. But, uh, there are some Link Joker combo matchups, I have, like, two Link Joker ones. Um, there's also some other ones that I like, and we're gonna get started with the Gurgwick kill turn combo. So with this combo, you're gonna need at least, uh, four damage when flipped. Or, uh, um, three to five damage unflipped because you need to have at least, um, this card in your hand, Hoel. Because he's gonna be pretty useful. Uh, I'm just readjusting this because, like, I... Yeah, let's see, that happened. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Fix the problems, guys. Okay. So, you need to have at least this guy in your hand if you want to do the 3 damage combo because you're going to be using Gurgwood's stride skill 3 times. So, let's get started with the deck. The combo. So, you're going to need, for this combo, you're going to need to have the one hole in your hand if you have 3 damage uh, counterblasted. Or, like, 3 damage unflipped. Uh... And 2 damage counterblasted. You need 5 damage for this to work. And you need to have Generation Break 2. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to Reverse Break Guide. So Reverse Break Red Skill activates, Ezel gains uh, 10k, and your opponent can only call grade, what's it called, uh, grade 1, and G Guardians from the hands to Guardian Circle. So that's going to work. Then what you're going to do is, if you guys can see my hand, you guys are going to stride. Uh, into Gurgwit. So now the effect is still on. Then the first thing you're going to do is you are going to call Silver Fang Witch right here or there, whichever one. Uh, which is skill. Uh, Soul Bust it. Draw one. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to call. Paramore. Now, Unite's going to be triggered. Then you're going to use Paramore skill, so you're going to counter boss one. You're going to look at the top three. And if we look at the top three cards of our deck, we have Lavinia. You're going to call her. Then you're going to do the skill for the rest of the bottom of the deck. Then Lavinia's Unite will trigger, so you're going to put Silver Fang Witch to bottom of the deck. And then she has Unite. Okay, so now we have at least like one, two, three, four, five cards in our soul. So next up, guys, what we're going to do... Yeah is we're, we have two options. Number one, what we can do is we can use Coel's Unite, so let's use it for this example. You're going to look at the top three cards of your deck, and we got some jank going on. Got some, got some pretty good jank. Um, by looking at our hands right now, uh, calling Lavinia would not be a good idea, because, well, it wouldn't hurt the deck. No, yeah, it would hurt it. I think. Uh, looking at this top three, since this one was random, it wasn't like, oh, ideal, the ideal one. Um, looking at this top three, you can either call scissors, but we're actually going to call the crit trigger because uh, we need that booster behind the vanguard. And then shuffle the deck, the crit trigger becomes a 7k booster. That's only like if you get unlucky. I'm oh, sorry about that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to call Hoel, Unite his, uh, his skills online. You're going to mandatorily soul charge, which is that one's not bad, and counter charge. Then you're going to call Bullergall. Now, how much soul do we have? We have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we're going to use Gurgwit's skill three times. Since we only have, we can only use it up to three times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're gonna soul blast them. So now the whole, all of the field, all, all the rear guards gain 15k. Your vanguard gains 75k, and you unite is active. And not only that, at the end of the turn, you will get a card back to your hand, which will be Lavinia. You will at least get three cards in hand. So drive check, heal check. Oh, look at that! Your damage is healed too, and that this would be your drive check from attacking. Uh, let's say if we uh, didn't attack, we would attack with Bullergall first, and we didn't know about our drive check, so. We would attack with Bullergall first, and then 
uh, Blurgal's Unite Will Trigger, so he gains 20k in total. So he's 29, uh, 36, plus 15, 41. Then we attack with Gurgwe. And remember, your opponent can only call Grade once, and uh, from their hand's Guardian Circle, they can also intercept Angie Guard, so unless they haven't prepared for this. Uh, the, the drive checks, so first check. Uh, stand Trigger, we're going to give power to Blurgal and stand him. Another a Heal Trigger, so we're going to heal the one. No, the effect is still in place. And we're going to give power to Paragorn. And then we're going to attack again, and this should be killing your opponent. So this is combo number one. And now we'll get into combo number two, which is the Link Joker matchup. Okay guys, so this is going to be the Link Joker combo. So the Link Joker combo is, there's two different ones. There's the Stride, Reverse Break Ride Stride, and then there's the Limit Break one. The Limit Break Superior Ride one. So first we're going to cover the Stride. The stride one, so first, uh, for this combo you're going to need at least uh, two cards to stride with. So you're going to need either um, a stride fodder or a grade 3 card in your hand. And then you're going to need raven Hazel. So this would be like the hand. Uh, ideally you would have at least these two in your hand. And then you would have five damage for it and you need to have counter blast. So let's say you use three counter blast for whatever reason. And let's say you already were like you G Guardian again, and let's say you use Spear Cross. Okay, so this is how the combo is gonna work. So first, here's what you guys are gonna do. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reverse break. So kaka. So the reverse break card will go off, and uh, only Grade One cards can guard from your hand will activate. Next up, you're gonna grab your. Beautiful grade three. You're gonna stride with it, and you're gonna stride into the progression line Mithril Ezel. Now Ezel. Now there's two things. There's a thing that you really want to do. You're gonna call something. Uh, I'm gonna call the crit trigger, and then I n will be able to trigger Unite. This is very important for the combo. So then you use Ezel skill. You're gonna flip one over. You're gonna unlock all of your rear guards. No, oh, not you. Uh, you are part of damage. You're gonna unlock them all. Boom, boom, boom. You're gonna look at the top five cards of your deck. And you're gonna superior call one of them. I suggest superior calling Silver Fang Witch from this, because the Witch is a very good card to superior call. So, number one, Unite has been triggered. So, this is good because now you have your Unite skill off. Let's say your opponent cuts now. Then you're gonna use Silver Fang Witch's skill. So now you can, what you can do, is you can start calling things, spam calling, things like that. So, with Ezel skill, Silver Fang gains 5k, and he also gains 5k. So Silver Fang is now a 10k booster. You've also triggered Unite. What you can do is you can use Koal's Unite to build a bit more field. You can, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it because um, you, are, you have like your field, and I don't suggest you wasting a card. So, I think that this would be nice. But again, if you want to start building more of like a field and it gains power, I guess you can do that. That's also in case like you have Jank on the board that was targeted for locking effects. But now Paramour swinging for a 21k line as well as Bullergall. Ezel swinging in for a six, uh, 36k line and with triggers, we don't know. So this is the progression line combo for locking. Now we're going to switch this one up to the other combo, which is the limit break combo. Okay guys, so this is going to be the Limit Break combo. So let's say you've already done your Ezel skill, and you pushed, and then boom, right here, right now, you, your, your things were, on, were locked again. So here's what you're going to do. For this combo, you're going to need to have a Salvation Line in your hand, or you should already be on Salvation Line, Grand Ezel Scissors. You need 5 damage again, because this is a very funny combo I like to do. So uh, let's get started. So the first one is we're going to ride Salvation Line, Grand Ezel Scissors. We're going to use his limit break, so we're going to counter bust 2, soul bust 2. We're going to unlock everything. And then he gains 10k and a crit. That does not matter, because what we're going to do is, first, we're going to get rid of Silver Fang Witch. And we're going to call Wonder Ezel. Now, Wonder Ezel's skill will go off. So, he was placed in Rearguard Circle, and since you have a great 3 Vanguard with Ezel as card name, you can, and it's standing 2, you can search your deck. So then you search your deck, your beautiful deck, for a Wonder Ezel, and you superior ride it at stand. Then the Wonder Ezel's ultimate break will go off, since he was placed on Vanguard Circle. By riding a grade 3 graded unit with Ezel, he gains 10k. 
boom, right there, you've, you've done it. And then he also gains an additional 5k. Boom, you have your field unlocked, you can do it. Now, what you, other, else you can do is, if you want to trigger Unite, uh, what you can do is you can get rid of Wonder Wrestle and call, let's say the Perfect Guard Unite has been triggered, her skill does not go off. Then you can use Coel's skill. One, two, three, and then you can call, let's say, the Stride Fodder right here. And then you shuffle the deck, and then boom, plus two, plus two. I mean, just the plus two, but anyway. The point of this combo is that you are basically, what you're doing is that you are, um, what's the word? Uh, you are unlocking your things when you're not on uh, Raven, on uh, Salvation, um, on Mithralizal, and you can keep superior riding whenever you're in that bad situation. That's why, the, if you're, even if the main thing is when you're playing against Link Joker, your main ride is Salvation Line. Because you can do that funny, stupid combo, but you need to get pushed to fight damage. You need to let them rush you. It doesn't matter. If you're playing against Link Joker and you can't uh, first stride into uh, Mithrazel, which you can do, in fact. Um, what you can do is that if you're on Mithrazel, let's say your field's in law, uh, Salvation, you only have 4 damage. Let's say all of this is unlocked. Uh, I mean, locked. You can go into this, skill that, unlock everything. You can do that. But like if you want to do like the funny trolley combo, then you can do the the Salvation Wonder Wrestle combo. So now we're gonna get into one more combo which I like and it's uh, I like to call it the I will kill I will push you uh, by getting five attacks off. And this is gonna be the last combo I will be explaining. Okay guys, so this is gonna be the last combo of the video. And um this is going to be the Glorious Raining combo. So again, you'll need 5 damage. As long as you have at least 2 Counter Blast face up, then you'll be fine. So let's say we have at least the 2 Counter Blast face up. Okay? So this is going to be how the combo works. So first, what you're going to need is... Um, you're going to need at least a Stridefutter in hand, Raven Hair, and a Paramore in hand. And you can have the... And it doesn't matter what else you have in hand. So here's how it's going to work. Number 1. What you're gonna do is you're gonna reverse break ride, reverse break ride skill, yada yada yada. Then you're gonna call this, okay? Uh, you're gonna stride with Gordruck, and then you're gonna go into the one, the only, the 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 one, the one, the uh, the glorious rainy. We're using SP because it's flashy. So next up, we're gonna do is we're gonna call flame of victory. Now we're doing this because there's a chance that you can. Uh, get the Unite Perfect Guard off. So even when you're doing Glorious Raining, you can you have a chance of doing this. Or if you're using Paramore, you have a pretty good chance of getting the Unite Perfect Guard off and then being able to bounce at the end of the turn. So that's gonna go. So you're gonna call that or any trigger. Um, Jerry would be a really good option because you'll have a 7K booster, and even if you don't get it off, then that means that you can um, you get the soul the counter charge stuff. So now you're going to call Paramore, Unite has been triggered, you're going to use this skill. Uh, for this example, uh, we, we look, oh look at that, we have the Unite Perfect Guard. We're going to call her, put her to the rest of the bottom of the deck, and then Flame Victory is going to go to the soul. And at the end of the turn she's going to bounce to hand. Um, so we want her to bounce to the hand at the, end of the, at the end of the turn because that's very important. So let's say we got that off. So now Unite's active, so what we're going to do is we're going to go with Boulder Gall, 21, okay. Now we're going to go 11, unboosted, because this is important. Now we're going to go 26 skill, you're going to counter blast. You're going to flip over the Glorious Raining. You're going to put these two to the bottom of the deck. Now, let's say this is what she got, okay? Let's say that this is what you got, okay. So, we're going to call Jeffrey here here just to make some nice beautiful lines and then we're gonna have the paramore right here so we're just gonna call three and we're not gonna use paramore skill because that would not be good that'd be really bad if we used his skill so you're gonna shuffle then glorious raining is mandatory skill you call three more you soul charge and counter charge again boom right there you have attacks now okay we're not using a paramore skill for the reason is because of the unite perfect guard and that would be very tragic and uh very bad if if that actually happens. So we're not going to use the Unite Perfect Guard skill. So again, we have a 21k column. We have Jeffrey because he's going to go to this one and draw. 
What's important is because of that, we also have Paramore, which is going to be 17k. Our Perfect Red is going to bounce back, so we're going to have two cards immediately going back. And since we have one card in our hand, we're going to get at least six cards. So we're going to do the triple drive check. Oh, look, it's critical trigger. Let's say they're Perfect Garden. We're going to give all the effects to Buller Gall, because Buller Gall is the scary line. Second check, Heal Trigger. You're going to give the power to Paramore. Then you're going to recover that one. Now, keep in mind that the, that the effect is going off right now, and yada, 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 so they can only call her guard with grade ones from their hand, or they can G-Guardian, and intercept. Third check, no trigger, that's okay. You split the power bonuses right here, so the Bull Bullergal has the critical trigger, and Paramore has that. Paramore is going to be swinging at 22k. Now, keep in mind that your opponent will either have to drop a 15k guard by dropping three grade ones, intercepting in grade one, or G-Guardian, and the biggest problem is that there's going to be Jeffrey. Jeffrey boosting Bullergal, and, you know, after that, you're going to get a good card, like this stand trigger, that's good, and either way, like, you get a G Guardian, a free G Guardian, so you can use Dismal, you can use things like that. So, this is a very good and scary combo, because you have two lines that are going for at least, you have one line that's going for a 20k guard, and you have one line going for a uh, 15k guard, and you're already pushing for 5 damage. So, then, you know, you're going to do that stuff. Um, now if they live, it's going to be miraculous, and then you're going to need to find some way to come back. But this would also be another kill turn. So then you're going to attack, boom, 22 right there. They have to drop a 15k, let's say they do. Then you go in for the kill with Bullergall. They can't, boom, they die. And they take 2 damage since you put the crit on Bullergall. So, um, that is it for this combo thing. Uh, I, I know I have like, what, like 4 combos for the Ezel thing. But since I did a short amount of playtesting with Ezel, so those were the combos I could find, and that was really fun to do. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Now, there's five technically because I didn't explain two. The Salvation Lion combo when you're only at four damage, and then you can go into Mithril as and boom, right there, without having the other thing. But, I mean, generally, that's, that's like a go- Mithril is a go-to strike, so even when your field's locked, you would always unlock it from there. And then, if you want to do the Raven Hair thing, then you would have to start using Salvation Lines Limit Break. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome deck, uh, more awesome, not deck profiles, um, more awesome, uh, videos, and I hope you guys like the new intro I added. Um, there's gonna be two different ones, the one I use for deck profiles, which is the first one, and then there's the second intro, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll make sure to see you guys later in the next video, and Surreal is signing out right now. Goodbye.